Popes are supposed to love everybody. Pope Benedict has rejected France's new ambassador to the Vatican because he's gay and married to a man. The Pope said it just wouldn't be right to have a homosexual walking around his pretend country, which is run by men in dresses. Um, so stay away, you nasty gay French man. Or the Vatican guards in their adorable striped pantaloons will have their way with you. All the churches that Sarah Palin has attended, and she's been to almost as many churches as she has colleges, have one thing in common, a belief that the Bible is literally true. She's not country first, she's Bible first. And not just the New Testament, that's the happy half of the good book. The baby in the manger, and Jesus doing magic tricks, long romantic walks on the water that turn into fishing trips with the guys. And a generally positive message. Jesus, after all, preached love and forgiveness, not shooting wolves from an airplane. The problem is, Governor Avon lady... <laughs> she takes the Old Testament literally, too. And in that one, God is an insecure, rage-filled hybrid of Bobby Knight and Suge Knight. <laughs> He's been alive forever, and he has anger issues. He's like John McCain if McCain could fart hail. <laughs> He's pro-slavery, pro-polygamy, and homophobic, and he'll kill you for masturbating. More people get stoned in the Old Testament than in my jacuzzi. <laughs> That's what I have to tell you guys. <laughs> If there, was a, if there was a video of Barack Obama standing in front of his congregation being healed by a black witch doctor, this election would be over. But there is that video of Sarah Palin. In the name of Jesus, every form of witchcraft is what you are rebuke in the name of Jesus. So ask your witch doctor if exorcism is right for you. <laughs> and I don't say witch doctor because he's black. I say it because when you're rebuking witches, you're a witch doctor. <laughs> witch doctor, folks, this is our country. We got to get it back from the forces of organized superstition. People like Bush and Palin simply cannot think clearly because they're in a big, scary, brainwashing cult, and it warps their thinking so much that they're actually horny for the end of the world. And it, that is not someone I want with the nuclear codes. So remember that video, and remember that Sarah Palin said, and I quote, I think I will see Jesus come back to Earth in my lifetime. To which I say, hasn't Jesus suffered enough?